Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. This is First Lady Kitchen. Today we'll be making unkwabi. This is basically a delicious meal of cow meat or goat meat prepared in spicy palm oil sauce and garnished with otazi on chamu. It is mostly served in okwa, a mini mortar or wooden plate which gives it a traditional appearance. So today I'll, I'll be using goat leg for this. I start by washing the goat leg. I wash it properly to remove some dirt. I use salt to marinate before washing. Unkwabi is a delicacy commonly found in restaurants. But what people don't know is that they can prepare this at home and enjoy with their family and loved ones. This cuisine is common among the people of Igbo ethnic group and is considered an evening meal because it's usually enjoyed at the end of the day's work. The meat is properly washed now, so I cut them into small small sizes because the meat is a little bit big than what I wanted. So after that, I transferred to a pot, added hot water and spice it up with salt, maggi cube onion stirred everything together and covered it to cook i'll cook this until the meat is tender so in a bowl i'm going to soak the oil bean i have dry oil bean here the fresh one is out of reach so i'm using the hot oil the dry one so i soak in a hot water for some time before washing up the dead meanwhile i'm going to grind this local nutmeg You can see a lot of dirt in the oil bean. So I'm going to wash this off camera to remove all the dirt inside. The oil bean is properly washed now. So I will transfer in a plastic nylon and put it back, put it in a pot, 
so that it can be a little bit tender as I am using the dry one. But if you have the fresh one, there is no need of doing going through this process. So I put in the pot and continue to cook the meat as well. This is called potash. This is called ng. This is what I'll be using to make the umpobi. This is one of the most important ingredients in making umpobi. This helps to curdle the palm oil when making umpobi. So I put hot water in it and sieved it and keep the water because this water is important and throw the chaff away. So after some minutes, I checked back on the meat and saw that the meat is soft now and tender and ready for use. Now let's go to the unkwabi. These are the ingredients that I'll be using to make the unkwabi. I have here pepper, onion, local nutmeg, crayfish salt, the potash, maggi cube, and my vegetable then the oil bean i used the available vegetable around me as otaze or oziza is out of reach i brought it out and noticed there are some that are still big i have to cut them and put back in the bowl Let's make the unkwabi sauce. In a dry clean pot, you add the palm oil and add the potash in a bit. You can see the palm oil is already changing. This potash helps to curdle the palm oil. So you continue to stir and add the potash until you get the desirable texture. After that, we'll be adding our spices in a bit. I added salt and a half cube of Maggi and stir to mix properly. Make sure that your Maggi cube is well deserved. Stir properly and add your fresh pepper. I use cayenne pepper already chopped. Then I added the crayfish. This is optional. If you don't like crayfish, you can skip it. But I like crayfish that I don't joke with it in every meal I cook. Then, the sauce is a little bit thick, so I added the potash to loosen it up. Before adding the local nutmeg. And the oil bean. I stir everything together to mix up. Once your sauce is a little bit thick, you add the potash to loosen it up. So I added the, cow, the goat leg and stir together. You can always check on your ingredients and know if you needed any adjustments so i stirred everything up and the unkwabi is ready to be enjoyed i don't have the mini mortar so i used my bowl to serve 
I spiced it up and garnished it with onion and green vegetable. Serve with any drinks of your choice. Thank you guys for staying tuned with me today. Like, comment, and share. And if you have not subscribed, please hit the notification button. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.